Hello, I'm Simone Ashley. I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK, and I'm going to show you what's in my beauty bag. I'd say my beauty philosophy, um, I like to keep it simple, just always get a good night's sleep. I feel like my, my skin really benefits from that, it feels repaired, refreshed, and I just like to go to bed making sure I've got a clean face. So yeah, I like to keep it simple. And with that, I like to use these products. I love this serum from Lancome, um, and I like to put it on my face before I go to bed. Um, it just means when I wake up, it looks nice and moisturized and refreshed. And I also love to use this Hydrazen moisturizer. Uh, yeah, this one smells really good as well. Like all the products from Lancome, how they smell. It's very rosy and refreshing. I like to use this exfoliator, the Doctor Scrub, and I like to get it on my nose and just make sure I get all the dead skin cells off around my lips. Um, just make sure I've got any makeup off as well that might be still there after cleansing. Yeah, and I like, I like to have my skin feeling nice and smooth. That's something that I try not to do too much of. I used to exfoliate a little bit too much and then I was told to rein it back a bit. I think living in London, um, the weather can sometimes be a bit grey um, and that affects my mood. So um, just to make sure that I'm feeling a bit perky and uplifted, sometimes I put on a bit of a lipstick. This is my Armani Lip Powder in 202 and uh, it's just like a little subtle red. And when I put it on, it just makes me feel like, just makes me feel like I'm a bit more put together on a rainy day. When I'm not working, I try not to wear makeup. I just find it easier to just go fresh faced, but I do love mascara and I like to make my eyes pop a little bit. So I like to put a bit of mascara, especially on the corner of my eyes and a little bit of lip gloss. I like a bit of lip gloss. It makes your teeth look a bit twinkly as well. So this is my Armani mascara and I actually really like the smell of mascara. <laughs> I find it, it's kind of like nail varnish. I find it really satisfying. I like a rock and roll mascara. I like to use quite a lot. Um, I think because I've got dark skin, dark eyes, I like to make them pop. And sometimes if I can't like find my eyeliner or my eyebrow pencil, I'll just use mascara. So it's like fill in my eyebrows or I'll take a little bit of the liquid and just like smudge it on my eyes and like kind of create um, like a smoky eye effect with mascara. I've got a mole or a slash of beauty spot. I think it's a mole on my nose. And um, sometimes I like to just highlight that a little bit and I'll put a little bit of eyeliner on there as well. I think taking your time to do your makeup helps. Um, I'm really used to just like doing my makeup in the car or rushing around and doing it within 10 minutes. But then there are times when I really take, just take a second and I moisturize, do my whole skincare routine. And then I take my time to do my eyebrows and all of that and it definitely makes a difference and less is more. I think um, it's really fun to do like a loud, playful look, but um, I like to keep things simple. Here's another few skincare must-haves. Oh yeah, so I like to use a sheet mask. A great tip is to just leave it in the fridge, maybe overnight or an hour before you put it on, and it's just really nice and refreshing, and especially in the morning if I've woken up with like puffy eyes, it just cools it down a little bit. Don't do what I did and leave it in the freezer. Um, I remember getting in my car and I had a frozen sheet mask, so I had to put it out my window to kind of thaw it. So yeah, fridge, not freezer. So yeah, I love a sheet mask. And then um, I like to like squeeze all the product out of the packet and just put it on my, my neck area, um, around my chest. I don't like to waste anything. What else? Ooh, so love a face mist. Let me do a bit now. This one's um, from Barbara Sturm. It's a hydrating face mist. Um, I try not to put too much on or it moves my makeup a bit and it just makes you feel a bit more refreshed and it smells really nice, um, especially if I'm traveling on a plane or in a hot country. Yeah, that one's also a bit addictive because I always, I wish that I could always feel like I've just hopped out the shower and if I could have that in a bottle, then yeah, a bit of face mist is that. So I've got curly hair and all girls with curly hair know that um, it's a bit of a mission sometimes taking care of our hair. I've been told to use microfiber towels. I like to use hair masks. Um, I use Kerastars or Aveda, and I like to scrunch it into my curls. And I think get a good trim. I'm, I'm always a bit scared to get my hair cut, but I like to have some layers in there, especially with curls. It just means that they can like sit nicely. Don't put too much heat on your hair. <laughs> That's what I've learned from a young age. Um, embrace your curls. It's really good for your immune system, apparently, to have a cold shower. And yeah, it helps with shiny hair as well. So if you, if you can bear it, just hit it on ice cold for like 20 seconds and pray. And then you'll come out with shiny hair. <laughs> 
the more and more I'm working on film sets or with my glam team, um, I definitely appreciate um, the hard work of makeup artists and just their talent on, you know, how to be an artist and what they create if the face is a canvas and they're the artist. I'm learning how to do lip liner. When I get my lip liner put on, it just makes my lips pop and they look really juicy. You have to take your time and it's an art, <laughs> for sure. I like to use a little bit of foundation, just a bit under my eyes, um, around my mouth area, a little bit on my forehead if I've got any spots or like discoloration. Um, so I like to use uh, the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, this one's in 13.5. Um, sometimes I use 12, it depends if I've been in the sun um, or if it's more of a winter kind of weather then maybe I'm not so tan, maybe I'm a bit uneven so I have to mix things around a bit. Growing up I always loved perfumes. Um, I love to cook um, a lot so I don't want to smell like cooking all the time even though that's great because <laughs> I like the smell of food um, but I want to smell nice and fresh and straight out the shower kind of vibes. Um, so I like to use perfumes quite a lot. Um, I'm using this one at the moment. This is Magenta Tanzanite from Armani. And I love, love, love the color of the bottle. In fact, I really wanna get my nails done like this, like this marbly pink kind of color. I want my nails matching, so that's my next nail inspo. It smells like a holiday when I put it on. Put it on my pulse points. Wrist, wrist, is, is, ankles, ankles. I'm new to the game on facials. I never ever had a facial until 2021. I always just like did a bit of a beauty skincare regime at home, exfoliating. I love to like steam at home, but since I've been traveling quite a lot from different sets, one of my makeup teams, they booked me in for a facial and um, then I, I got a, a bite of the, of the sweet fruit <laughs> facials and now I can't go back. I like to use essential oils. Um, I like to use a little bit of eucalyptus, just put it on my wrists. Smell it, deep breath, and it's quite cleansing. I used to pluck my eyebrows way too much. I kind of fluctuated from like growing them out to plucking them or waxing them. Um, I used to get them threaded when I was a teenager. And then um, one of my makeup artists, he was just really honest with me and was like, look, you've got two weeks off for Christmas, just grow your brows out. And I've never gone back. Um, I don't touch them. Sometimes I'll just pluck the monobrow area now and then, but just leave, leave my eyebrows alone. I look back on photos when they were really skinny and yeah, it's quite a difference. <laughs> and to not raise them too much in photos, otherwise you just look a bit shocked. So just relax, you're enough, just be yourself, don't try too hard and don't raise your eyebrows. Just putting good vibes out. Yeah, as cheesy as that sounds, um, that's when I feel good about myself. Yeah, and I think being organized, I think when I'm really <laughs> organized, <laughs> And then, then I feel like I have like a clear head and I can enjoy myself more and I'm not so worried about things that I should have done or things that I've procrastinated on. Then I can just enjoy myself and enjoy life a bit more. Well, that's what's in my beauty bag. Uh, I hope you found some useful tips and thank you for watching.